one of the things I learned early on uh, going to wineries is that Robert really espoused the notion of food and wine. How, how did that all come out, That this gracious living concept? Well, there were a few levels to it, I think. Firstly, growing up in an Italian family, he had always had wine around the table. And so that idea that opening wine is going to enhance your meal, bring people together around the table, and enhance the family experience and enhance the conversation. However, in the 60s, he traveled around France, and not only to visit wineries, but he visited many of the great restaurants of the time, and the Michelin star restaurants that were leading the aesthetic of fine food forward, but in many ways inspired him to make more beautiful, better wines in Napa Valley. So in the end, how did he sort of thread that into the Robert Mondavi winery experience? Because that's, that's not an easy thing to do. So wine, food, and the arts became the three pillars of the gracious way of life. And of course, in the 60s, there weren't fine restaurants in Napa, so building the vineyard room so that we could serve fine food for our guests with our wines in the late 60s. And then in the 70s, the great chefs program. He flew chefs from France, the leading Michelin-starred chefs out to present leading edge food workshops. And then in the 80s, once there were world-class chefs in the United States to invite, he brought them in. And I think the Great Chefs program was implemental in changing the food culture in California and in Napa Valley. And today we have a beautiful team of chefs focusing on California cuisine, choosing great, fresh, local ingredients and presenting them in a way that brings out the excitement and the joy in their flavors. You mentioned the arts as well, and we see a lot of art at the winery, a lot of, a lot of different uh, sculptures. How, how did that all come about, and is it still thriving? Absolutely still thriving, and I think that was very much Margaret's influence. And in the early years of the winery, in the late 60s, she started art exhibitions. We still have music concerts, which Margaret started in 1969. In the end, how do you think all these components come together to, to affect the wine? Mr. Mandavi always believed that wine is art for the palate. And when we're making our wines, we're always thinking of the, the complexity that comes with beauty and harmony and balance and capturing your interest, but holding your interest in the way a beautiful piece of art would do.